Hi everybody. Um, I am Nicole Arrington, an independent Stamping Up demonstrator, here to bring you this beautiful card. Um, I have used the step stamp set Lots of Hearts and the embossing framelit um, Many Hearts Die uh, to create this beautiful card. Um, what what do we need to make this card? Well, you need a piece of eight and a half by eleven piece of paper, a and mine is in Melon Mambo, a Whisper White piece of cardstock that is five and three fourths, and another Melon Mambo by four and a half by three and a quarter. Um, don't worry about writing them down. I will put them in my description or on my website. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to take my eight and a half by 11 piece of paper and score it at four and a quarter. And then I am going to crease it. All right, then I'm going to take my piece of Whisper White. Actually, now it's called, it's a new color white because they ran out of Whisper White. I can't, can't remember its name, but I'm going to hear it. And I am just using the liquid glue, just the standard liquid glue that I've just put in here that has a fine tip pin. Um, then my next layer of Melon Mambo, I'm going to take it and use my Many Hearts die to die cut out a heart right about there. After I die cut that, I will take the uh, Tasteful Textile embossing folder and run it through the machine as well. Um, I will go ahead and pause right here and come back with that die cut and embossed. All right, I am back. I am left with a nice thin outline of a heart, which I will set aside and use on another card for another time. And another heart, same, same concept. Um, I will take this and adhere it to my card. Use just using liquid glue, just a little bit. Okay, now we are going to come to the center portion of it. Um, I will get out the dies again, and I am going to cut this flower flower die. I'm going to cut it. You have an option of doing it two ways. You can die cut it in white and then use markers to to color it in, which I will show you what one that I have done. And then or what I have also done. I didn't like the markers as much. I um, used Granny Apple Green with Melon Mambo and die cut this lovely heart in Granny Apple Green. And then I took the flower attachment dies and die cut on Melon Mambo. And I will be right back while I do that. All right, so here I am back. Um, here is a white um, option that you can then color either with your alcohol markers or just the standard markers, which I have now misplaced somewhere, of course. So you can either use the blends or just the standard markers. Um, as you can see here, that was an alcohol marker, and that was the dark melon mambo marker, and this was just the water-based marker. And here's what it looked like. 
I just wasn't happy with how it was looking for me last night. And so I went with the option of using my Granny Apple Green and these lovely little pieces that I can adhere to into the flowers. Um, so give me a moment and I will adhere those. We will look at those and adhere those to give us a nice pretty finished look. Um, but yeah, so this is my very first video um, I have made. Oops. So please, please bear with me as I go through my growing pains here of learning all this new technology. Um, today was one of those days that it's a Friday for me while I'm shooting this video and I have an afternoon off to make this video because my husband gets to finish early on Fridays. Lucky me. But yeah, no, I'm, um, I'm quite excited by this new venture. I was wondering if I could maybe need to bring this out a little bit more. I'd do a lot more work closer to the edge of my table. Got a yucky piece of glue on the end that I want to get rid of there. But yeah, so there's more than one option of how to, to uh, make this if you don't have all the materials. There's more, more than one way. The other thing is this is such a nice base card that you could, if you don't have these particular items, you can use another heart, heart die or punch to fill this out along with um, another floral. And I will show you another example that I have made in the past. Um, that you can use to do that. Um, but there we go. So I will now be able to attach this. Didn't get those little pieces out. My goal is to just kind of get a bit of the outside flourished so it'll stay down a little bit in the center and there we go a really nice easy beautiful card now for the kind of some more finishing touches I'm gonna take the uh, well, I'm going to take Melon Mambo and punch out the Small Blooms punch flower. And I'm also going to do this in their, um, oh, I've totally forgotten the name, but their cream color. It'll come to me after I finish what, what the name is. Oops, I cut that one off just a li little bit, just a hair. And then, oops, I'm going to need this. I've taken the small blooms. Let's see. So the basket of blooms, I've taken this small little um, stamp to stamp on my cream color that I've totally forgotten the name of. I'll take my Melon Mambo ink on my pad and cut it out and punch it or stamp it. Then I am going to cut out the stamp so I can adhere it to the inside.
All right, so I've got my two petals and then my center. I'm gonna take my cream and I'm gonna sponge it with some melon mambo. Just the edges, just to give it a little bit more texture and flourish. And I just used a little sponger. I, I take my sponges and cut them up into eighths, but it gives me a, just a great working size. And then I'm going to take my a piece of Granny Apple Green cardstock and the sprig punch. And I am going to punch out two of those. I absolutely love punches. Punches I find just so easy to work with, to use. Um, I'm then going to cut those in half. I only need three of them. And I'll set the other one at the extra side. And then I need my sentiment. So again, I'm going to, from lots of hearts, I'm going to use You're All Heart. And I'm going to stamp that in Melon Mambo. Let me get out. Get that out. Get that on. Okay, and then I'm going to stamp that in Melon Mambo. Okay, so now I'm just going to cut off a little bit extra so I can tuck it under, and then I'm going to make a little chevron. Um, I often use an old like hexagon punch to help me make the chevron. Uh, Stamping Up also has some Uh, num a num numerous punches that will help you make these chevrons. Um, and I often use them, but I forgot to grab one, so I'll just use the, the quick, easy, dirty way. All right. So I'm going to start. I'm just going to lay this out, make sure I like the look of the layout before I glue anything down. Actually, I'm going to glue the flowers together because I like those. It's sounding like glue is maybe running out. we go. Alright. Okay. So I kind of like that look layout. So I'm going to go ahead and glue your all heart down. Um, but I would think that this is a great card if you need an anniversary card or a birthday card. It's a beautiful card um, that you can use to stamp inside. Just, just change the sentiment if you like. If you don't like that sentiment, it just doesn't quite work for what you need. Third little sprig. Get 
that in on there. All right. And then I took some rhinestones. I took a four millimeter rhinestone with my take a pick tool and put that there. And then I took some of the small, small ones and just kind of randomly put them on. There's one mm, like that. And oh, oops. Losing that. And say one right about there. And there you have it. Um, also, for the inside of the card, I always like, let's make a pretty little inside. I will take a piece of white cardstock and I am going to take my little heart punch, or heart stamp, and put a few little hearts on the inside of the card. my mat down so I can have a nice firm stamp. Mm, actually, I don't want the heart. I lie. Uh, yeah, I do. Never mind. I'm going to do a couple like that. And then maybe one just coming right off there. All right, so let me adhere that to the inside of my card. I'm running low, I'll have to refill this guy. Let me adhere that to the inside of the card. that a nice firm and there you have the card and then let's make that envelope let me grab an envelope all right so here's my envelope and I want to use my stripe of my heart stripes so I will put this down I'm also going to get a piece of scratch paper down because I think this is a little bit long. Get a longer block. And then let me get my Melon Mambo out again. All right, so here we go. And there you have it. There's a nice, beautiful card. Very simple, very easy to make. Um, using lots of hearts. Now, I also said that if you don't have all these things, you can easily supplement. It's no problem. Um, here's a card that I've made before in the past. It uses a different embossing folder. Let's see, can you see? tell that um, versus this one. They're both beautiful. Use what you've got. Um, I've also used a different type of flower and that was an old Stamping Up stamp but obviously you can't get it so if you want to duplicate replicate it exactly. Um, and this one I did slightly different designs but very easy to do, very fun. Um, and please check out my website and my Facebook page for other ideas, other, other videos will be coming shortly as I figure all this out um, and more regularly. And 
please check me out. If I would love to be your demonstrator. Um, or if you want have any questions, please email me. My email will be on the link below along with all the details. Thank you. My name's Nicole Arrington.